Isaiah Kiner Falefa is pretty much getting ready for a super utility role. He was in that shortstop competition, but now they're working him out in the outfield. Even emergency catcher has come up with Aaron Boone. Yeah, and it's something that kind of Falefa, that's how he got to the big leagues. That's how he accelerated his timetable. He didn't love catching, but he does love being a Yankee. This was his dream to play for the Yankees growing up. And obviously the first year for him was not as, as seamless or smooth as he would have anticipated, but he doesn't want to be traded. He wants to be part of this team. He wants to help this team win. And if it's not going to be as the everyday shortstop, there's so many different ways that he can help this team. He can play some third base. He can play some second base. They've worked him out in center field, in left field. And yeah, he's going to strap on the shin guards and start catching a couple bullpens just to keep that uh, <laughs> skill set sharp as the emergency third catcher behind Jose Trevino and Kyle Higashioka. So uh, with Kiner Falefa in a utility role and Oswaldo Cabrera on the roster. Aaron Boone has so much flexibility on his bench. I think that uh, that's what a manager would want. Now, mentally, you want to have a good spring training, Brian. But most of the time you look at spring training numbers, especially for players who are well embedded in their major league careers or with the team they're with in spring training. Eh, if they have a bad spring training, that could flip the script early on in the regular season, but we mentioned the mental aspect. So Luis Severino didn't get off to a really good start. Opening day is right around the corner. Josh Donaldson, we heard about all the work he put in, in the off season to, to kind of, you know, get that last season in the rearview mirror for himself. They each had big games against the uh, Detroit Tigers this past week. How important was for that, for both of them to have that kind of game? I think it's a big confidence booth, uh, boost for both guys, especially with opening day. Uh, now in the single digits, it's almost time to, to head north. And so you want to start that? having... You want to start having some results kick in at this point in the schedule. And for Severino, his slider has been a real issue all spring. I remember there was one game in Lakeland where he told us straight out, he said, my slider sucks. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, and the hitters were letting him know that it did. And so that's something he's been trying to fine tune. And that start against the Tigers was probably the first time the Yankees this spring have seen it all come together. The slider was going good. The curveball was going good. He struck out nine. He did give up a home run, but uh, Severino said that he's probably going to wind up leading the grapefruit league and home runs allowed, but those stats are all going to reset. And the important thing is being ready for when he needs to take the ball, which is April one game two against the uh, San Francisco giants. And then for Donaldson, He's really been grinding uh, all spring, and he hasn't had a lot to show for it offensively, and that's kind of a callback to what we saw all of last year, too. But the encouraging thing is, and Aaron Boone said this the other day, was that he was watching the batting practice of Donaldson, and he saw something there. And as soon as Donaldson came out of the cage, he put his hands on his shoulders, and he said, that's it. That's it right there. That's what you need to keep. Lock that in. It doesn't matter if you get results today in the game or not, but something looks right. And so Donaldson has finally stumbled upon something. And then lo and behold, he goes up in the fourth inning and bangs one off the scoreboard in left field. And he homers again in the sixth inning. So uh, that is definitely uh, going to make Donaldson feel good here. Uh, the Yankees have said all along that there's more in the tank offensively than he showed last year. Uh, you know, Aaron Boone even said, you'd be crazy not to think that there's an offensive rebound in there. So Donaldson is going to get an opportunity here to show that last year was an aberration and he can produce the way he did in 2021 and maybe even even uh, earlier in his career. Yeah, Brian, he said he's starting to feel like himself again. And remember, he's four years removed from a 37 home run year with the Atlanta Braves when he was in the National League. Now, I know he's 37, but uh, Wednesday against the Tigers is definitely something that could get him mentally ready for the beginning of the season, at least. We thank you for your time. As always, Brian, we appreciate it. We know you're busy, and we look forward to uh, talking to you again next week, bud. You got it, Chris. Thanks for having me.